How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm here to show you a beautiful new legend that's being added to Brawlhalla tomorrow. If you're watching this video today, which of course you are. And by the way, if I have to, I might have to mute the music and or the entire audio on the trailer that they're about to show for the new legend. I hope I don't have to, but if YouTube uh, copyright strikes, then I'm gonna have to mute it. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the reveal trailer that was just shown maybe an hour ago on the Twitch Brawlhalla stream. Y'all are here because we are here to show y'all and reveal to y'all a new legend that you have all been patiently waiting for. We got this lovely video. Here it goes. You're gonna find all your answers here. <laughs> <laughs> There we have Petra. Available legend, everyone. Tomorrow. Petra. She is Orb Gauntlet. All right. She is Orb Gauntlet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's pause there. Orb and Gauntlet? I thought everybody was demanding a Lance legend. Just saying. Amazing. That trailer was off the I thought for sure it was going to be. I thought for sure it was gonna be orb and cannon, to be honest, uh, based on the on the little preview we saw. At least I was correct on the one weapon. It is orb, but man, I never thought it would be orb and gauntlets. And let me just say, I am very hyped for the orb and gauntlets. Uh, they're gonna show the different skins as well in the game. We're gonna take a look at actual gameplay of Petra. Um, they did show the different skins in the trailer, so. You can just go ahead and watch that again if you want to see them right now, but we'll get to the skins in a second here. Let's, let's, let's fast forward a little bit. All right, here's some of the skins. We have Dark Heart, we have Source Code Petra, and I think the third one was like Fossil, or, or I don't remember, Lost World, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lost World one is awesome because it has an orb that's like a fossilized uh, beetle or something, like an amber, it looks awesome. So Petra actually wields the Dark Heart magic, which we've seen hinted throughout the Brawlhalla world in a few different weapon skins and whatnot. Um, she actually has asymmetrical hands, so you can see her left arm is like possessed by the Dark Heart magic. So they're showing this skin, which has the home run orb. It's kind of cool. I actually really like that one. Uh, this one is probably my favorite next to the, uh, uh, the, the actual Dark Heart skin. Unfortunately, they have copyright music, so I have to put their sound way, way down. Alright, so the... That right there, the orb side sig, it literally looks just like the Hadouken from Street Fighter. Like, literally the same thing. And then the neutral sig is literally the Shoryuken from Street Fighter as well. Like legit, they straight up took those. Um, the teleporting move, I don't know if that's the down sig or the side sig actually. Because they both, the, the Hadouken and that teleporting move, which looks amazing. Uh, it reminds me of the boss from the... Uh, I think it was the Gerudo Temple in Breath of the Wild. I don't remember, but um, does that teleporting attack when you when you're fighting him? So the Gauntlet Sigs, the neutral Sig, is, it, I'm assuming is that uppercut punch. The uh, the Orb Side Sig throws out the Hadouken. The longer you hold it, the more it goes out. There's the neutral Sig that we saw in the teaser. Very fast anti-air move has some Dragon Ball-esque vibes to it. I really like the legend how they, they do have the Dragon Ball vibes to it. Uh, curious, I just noticed that their orbs went through each other. Oh my gosh, that one is literally one of my favorite moves in the entire game. She just brings out a spirit bomb and throws it down. It looks so cool. 
I'm assuming that's the down sig. It looks like you can fly with it a little bit, or at least if you hold it down, she'll float forward. I think you can actually uh, fly a little bit. You can move like forward or backwards while you're holding it, kind of similar to some of the Legends uh, sigs that we've seen recently. Feel bad for all the OG Legends that don't have any of these movable sigs. But anyways, yeah, um, what do you guys think? She, uh, she's very, very good looking. Like, as far as the weapon choices, the orb and gauntlets, that automatically makes her very good. Her stats, um, if we look at her stats for a second here, let me find. All right, so her stats are not my favorite thing about her. I wish that you could take one or two points off of force and put it to dex, which is like their attack speed, but it's not terrible. She has four dex. All right, so they're actually showing off the, uh, the skins here. So that's the Dark Heart Orb. Eternal Nightfall. To be honest, it doesn't really look that amazing to me, but the Fossilized Amber is amazing. I'm gonna buy that skin just for the Fossilized Amber alone. The Dark Heart skin is probably my favorite just because it, she looks kind of like a Super Saiyan with her hair, and I can't wait to see um, what the Heat Wave colors look like for her. And they did say that the Heat Wave colors would be coming soon. Uh, they said soon, so I'm assuming next week They'll come out with the heat wave colors probably the first week of July. That would be my guess because they they released all the Adventure Time stuff and now they're releasing Petra. So it makes sense that they're probably going to be coming out with the heat wave stuff pretty soon. She seems uh she seems pretty good otherwise. Her sigs are good. I can't I don't have any complaints. The side sig is nice. Uh, kind of reminds me of Fate's uh, Scythe side sig where the longer you hold it, the farther the energy blast goes. The fact that she has Orban Gauntlets, though, is literally her best feature. Uh, those are two very good weapons. Personally, I really like Orb and I like Gauntlets, so I'm looking forward to playing with Petra. The, the SIGs are not the best, but they're okay. The coolest one is definitely the Teleporting Side SIG and the Spirit Bomb. Those two are my favorite ones of hers. The other ones are kind of like, meh, alright, you know what I mean? But that's just my opinion. Once again, I am curious what you guys think on on Petra. I think that the teleporting one must be the, the down sig on Gauntlets. I don't know what else it could be, but maybe it's the side sig. I don't know. But I wonder what the hitbox is like on that. That's the only thing they don't show in these dev streams is, is the hitbox. So we'll have to just guess what that looks like. Oof, but it looks like that side sig can just hit really close as well. The Spirit Bomb does go farther than below the platform you start the attack on, so if you do it off the edge, kind of, it will go down a ways, which is very nice. Kind of like Artemis uh, Scythe down sig. She'll uh, shoot a little orb down, but this one looks like the orb is literally way bigger, and it looks like the orb will go down even further. So, All right, here he's going through all the different color schemes for the base skin. Uh, Goldforge, Skyforge, Black look pretty awesome. You have this skin. The green looks really good for some reason. Brown doesn't look bad to me. Mm, Sunset's looking pretty nice. Ooh, gray looks very nice. Oh man, black. Black and Goldforge look great. Definitely. And then we have the uh, the Dark Heart skin. So here's all the colors for that. Looks like, as you would expect, uh, a little disappointed that her hair color is the same as her skin color on a lot of these, but that's okay. Um, the Gold Forge is probably my favorite because she has the white hair uh, with like the golden armor. Definitely my favorite. Yeah, she's talking about community colors. So now they're redeemable on consoles as well. So. Uh, before you could only get community colors on PC, but now if you're in a dev stream and you're lucky enough to get the drop, uh, you can redeem them on Switch or Xbox or PlayStation as well. All right, so he's going to show us the stances and the colors. Uh, let, let's take a look and see. So dexterity, thank goodness, it actually does take away from force. So honestly, that would be the stance that I would probably be using all the time with her. Either that or defense, but probably I would be using dexterity. 
because orb and gaunt and uh, gauntlets, you you really want to have fast attacks with those. You can get up in their face and just keep keep the pressure going. Yeah, speed takes away from decks, not worth it. Defense take away speed, that's not bad. So I would definitely say dexterity and defense are probably her two best stances. Or just default stance as well. All right, so here we have Petra fighting with the black skin. You can get a look at what she looks like with the black colors. Really, really, really awesome again. And by the way, did I mention Petra comes out tomorrow? Yes, I did mention it, but I'm just reminding you. So tomorrow I'm going to be making a video, probably live streaming as well, some amazing Petra gameplay. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in seeing what Diamond player, you know, playing Petra looks like. I can't wait to mess around with her sigs, man. They look so fun. Showing off the trailer again. Oh my gosh, that was so amazing. All right, guys. Well, that's that's about it for Petra. Um, I'm like I said, I'm gonna be going through all her skins and colors and everything, and we're actually gonna have some one-on-one -on -one gameplay with Petra tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of Petra, the new legend, in the comments below. I'm very interested in what you guys think. I know it's not a Lance character. Personally, I would have liked to have seen Orb and Bow, or Bow and Scythe. Though I, I've been wanting a Bow and Scythe legend for a long, long time, but we will wait a little bit longer. Anyways, guys, hope to see you tomorrow in my Petra gameplay video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.